Hello otters and happy Friday. Yay, it's finally Friday. This Friday though is gonna be a rough one. It's the day after Halloween, which what's scarier than Halloween? The day after Halloween when the kids all have their candy and they're jacked up on sugar and it's an early release day because it's the end of the quarter. So these kids are going to be insane today. So it's kind of bracing for the impact. It's like the calm before the storm See, there's, there's no wind right now it's going to be crazy later on we had storms last night nothing is going to come nothing compared to what we're going to experience today that's my forecast for today is crazy storms um tornadoes and hurricanes um so anyways point of today's video is just a little quick bit of advice for students who plan to be teachers students in high school or college who are planning to be a teacher um this is my one bit of advice that I will give you. Um, and you, you can't pay for this on Teachers Pay Teachers because I'm giving away for free. So um, I actually talked to a teacher a cadet at my school about it earlier this week. Um, and she said that that was actually very helpful. And she said, hey, why don't you make a video? But I'm like, oh, I think I should. So here we go. My one bit of advice for if you are planning to be a teacher as you know if you're in high school or in college and trying to you know plan to be a teacher obviously is to go get as much experience as you can maybe we'll, we'll call it informal uh experience obviously because you're not a licensed teacher yet but the way that i got my teaching experience my informal teaching um experience and practice i would say was i worked at a daycare um before I decided I, I wanted to be a teacher, before I worked at the daycare, I worked at Sheets, which for those of you that don't know, it's a uh, gas station convenience store. It basically has everything. Uh, they have low gas prices to get you to come inside and that's where they make their money. Anyways, um, it's kind of like a Northeast thing along the 95 corridor. I digress. Anyways, I, I went from making a pretty good amount of money there uh, an, an hour uh, but then I decided I wanted to be a teacher and I wanted to find out if I uh, enjoyed working with kids and if so, what age. So I put my two weeks notice in at Sheets and I left there and I obviously I interviewed um, at a, actually I only interviewed at one daycare. Uh, my dad, uh, who is a heating and air conditioning mechanic, uh, did some work for some other daycare uh companies i guess you would say and he said he's like hey i can talk to them and see if they have any openings like no dad i want to get this job on my own based on my own uh my own you know actions and on me not on my dad so uh i interviewed to, at one place and i got the job i started as the uh, after school helper basically uh and i basically took a two dollar and 25 an hour two dollar and 25 cents an hour pay cut to go work at the daycare but i was so much happier i enjoyed it it was fun uh it kind of naturally worked into like my job at the daycare was working with a special needs girl who was uh, i'm sorry she's my favorite kid ever um she's now <laughs> 20 22 um and she's actually a sister of one of my friends from high school but i digress once again off topic teacher getting off topic go figure so uh, I worked there with, with, with this student, a bunch of other students. Uh, and then eventually I worked there, you know, over that entire year because I was going to a local uh, community college. And it was there, and this is where the actual advice comes in. Sorry, it took four minutes and six seconds to get here. Is that what I got from working at the daycare was I learned classroom management. I learned exactly how far I can let the kids go before I completely lose control of the class. Like I know exactly where my boundaries are with like letting them go crazy and I can still reel them back in. I learned uh, attention grabbing uh, techniques, not the whole clap, 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 clap thing. Not that thing, not the teacher, teacher, yes, yes thing or whatever, or or the, you know, cover your mouth with this and put your peace sign in it. Not, not, not that stuff, nothing against elementary school teachers, 
but that's not my style. And that's what you've got to find is your style. What is in your teacher toolbox that comes naturally to you? So what did I discover? What worked for me? My favorite thing that I did with a daycare. Um, I'm a parrot head. I love Jimmy Buffett music. So if you ever uh, heard the song, seen the song, been in a concert, Fens, I would tell a student, Fens up, and they put their shark fins above their head. I, sorry, I got the other hand on the camera. Um, and I'd say Fens to the left. Fence to the right, left, right, left, right. They, they would go crazy and something was fun, but they were listening. And then I had them, I was like, okay, fence down and listen. And then I had them. Um, that works in middle school too. I use that sometimes. I pull that out of my back pocket every once in a while. And it completely like, whoa, what is this? Where is this coming from? So learning classroom management, because here's the thing, if, if you mess up, then you have the next day and there aren't really you know, state standards at a after school thing for most daycare programs. I mean, mostly it's like, hey, keep the kid alive, give them a snack, let them play outside, let them have fun, and don't let them get hurt. And hopefully they have fun. So that's what it's about at a daycare. Uh, I learned uh, crazy ways to have fun with the kids with like absolutely nothing in the room. Uh, I became like the clothes monster for the two year olds at one point. I was the walking playground on rainy days. I'd walk into a little kid's classroom and they would climb on me and I'd flip them and throw them in the air and stuff. Um, eventually, the cool part is that my daycare I used to work at built a, uh, a three foot in ground pool and they asked if I wanted to be the lifeguard. I'm like, sure, um, three feet. The worst thing that happened is a kid started drowning. I told him, put your feet down, stand up. Um, so that was awesome. Then I also drove on field trips. So uh, I got paid to get tan and go on field trips. and. Uh, I got a raise for it, so that was cool. But the point of the story is, is learning classroom management. Definitely a skill that transferred over very well into my teaching uh, career. I still use a lot of the tricks that I learned then, and I continue to uh, develop more. So if you're in school to be a teacher, go work at a daycare in the after school program. You will not regret it. You'll thank me later. Until next time, be nice to each other and keep learning. Bye. Have a good weekend.